See, over the years, I've worked on a multitude of different projects. Uh, the one that comes to mind most recently as being uh, something that is quite amazing in quality is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles show that we're doing together with Nickelodeon, which has been an exciting and, and pretty cool experience. My favorite, I, I, it would be Arthur, because I learned a lot on that project. It was my first job, and I got to do a bunch of different jobs on that show. Uh, my favorite job was probably working on the first season of Ren and Stimpy as an animator. It was a lot of fun, great design, tough directors, but uh, I learned so much on that project. The piece of art that I'm most proud of uh, are my students. <laughs> Uh, commercial animation program, I think it's great. It's really fun. Yeah, it's excellent. Yeah. Um, it's <laughs> awesome. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> it's really fun, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> We're very tired. <laughs> My name is Don Perro. I'm the uh, coordinator of the commercial animation program at Capitano University. I'm full time, and I, and I take in the first years. And I, in the first semester, I teach a lot of uh, the introductory courses. My name is Mo Borishi. I am teaching uh, life drawing. Every semester, we have a life drawing class, and I teach uh, all four life drawings. I teach anatomy, plus I teach uh, layout. I know you're having fun. Let's go have more fun. Let's have more fun to study the muscles of the leg. My name is Florian Wagner and I teach second year advanced character animation class. My name is Patricia Atchison. I teach storyboard design at Capilano and I graduated from the program in 1998. We were the very first year of the program. It was the, the we were the guinea pigs. Um, Don had just as much energy back then as he does now. Super excited about the program. Um, my favorite job in the industry is teaching. It's, uh, it's actually an industry job because it uh, sets up people for their future careers. The Capilano program is an extremely uh, ambitious program in the sense that you try to get uh, a group of rough, roughly 20-25 students up to speed on a very high level of character animation in a very short period of time. To do that, and that's what we're doing, that's why we're doing it that way, is uh, to get uh, the artist to work on paper first and then explore the different software options as they go. Reminding them that it's all about the uh, right application of animation principles first and foremost. we look for is a passion, uh, that they know what they're getting into, they've researched what the industry is like, and they have decided it's really what they want to do. I came to take it after I already took a degree, so uh, I'm like knew that it was going to be kind of drawing boot camp, and that's essentially Yeah, what I'm that's here basically for. drawing boot camp. It's drawing boot camp. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm loving it too. I, I'm, I came all the way from Mexico, and there's nothing like this back there, like this amount of drawing in this amount of time. The, the program's great, I love it. <laughs> also important, but not as important, is original character design. So they should be enjoying drawing their characters and, and making up original characters and creating stories about them. Uh, they should have a, you know, a love for drawing because that's pretty much 90% of the two-year program. Don really focused on the fundamentals of animation, 2D animation, which was a great learning experience. Most classes fun, but you end up getting a little crazy because you have two classes a week and lots of homework, and it, it's so much fun, but it it gets it to be takes, a lot. <laughs> it takes most of your time to do Mo's work. I really like 
the emphasis on life drawing and anatomy. I think that that's the thing that really makes us here very different from, I have like friends who have graduated from VFS and Emily Carr and I think life drawing is like one of the big things that differentiates us. But drawing from life and drawing models that way, you know, it's just, it immediately transfers. Like it's just so much easier to do design. It's so much easier to animate people. You understand how movement works in the body. Definitely very informative because there's a lot of like inner structure that even just a regular life drawing class doesn't really teach you. But then this anatomy class combined with that and then just all the weird little things that Mo does, like all those jokes and stuff, it makes you remember things better. And the first semester is observational drawing, two-dimensional two and three-dimensional observational studies. And then second semester is structural drawing. It's uh, working on boxes, geometrical shapes, and also going to organic uh, structure of human form. Anatomy is very important in second semester. And third semester, I said, you become a god. You can, you can draw whatever you want. And fourth semester is working on light, how the light is affecting all the objects and human form, and how you can draw whatever you want, plus uh, draw the way you want, plus show the effect of light on what you are drawing. But in animation, like, if it doesn't look right, it doesn't look right, and you have to draw it again. You have to change it. You have to change it. You have to start really rough and unstructured and keep going. And yeah, <laughs> but that one definitely, that class made me, like, draw the most. Yeah, I yeah. think that's one of the biggest drawing classes. Yeah. The animation has a specific theory, and applying it makes your animation look better. So we focus on that as an introduction, and also I teach design in the first semester, introducing students to what appeal is in the character design. <laughs> the procedures for going about a design, uh, how to get out of their own style and uh, develop other, other styles, which will help them later in the industry. Favorite class. Well, animation's fun because I get to hang out with Florian. Uh, for me, animation is all about uh, character acting. It's all about personality. It all revolves around finding the right level of caricature and making sure that your characters come to life that way. Uh, it's the angle that you're looking for. When you're uh, thinking about animation, often people make the misassumption that it's about motion. It's really not. It's more about moving the audience rather than moving your characters. So uh, it's about finding out who your character is and then uh, bringing that character to its full potential, which means that you have to know uh, where you're playing your scene from, who is the person that you're dealing with, and who is saying the line, who's walking from point A to B. And that usually holds all the answers for doing a pretty extraordinary piece of animation. Was he this big? Much bigger. It took me whole that clean off. Whoa. Cap taught me a lot. Absolutely. But what they say about learning more in the, when you're entering the workforce is true. You definitely learn a lot more when you're working. We have internships in the summer after first year. There are studios that provide paid summer jobs plus scholarships, $2,000 from DHX Media, $2,000 from uh, Atomic Cartoons, and that goes to a first year student exclusive to Capilano, and the animation student will then work for, you know, 500 a week, but in a studio, and then they get kicked out and sent back to second year. Uh, this program is probably one of the best animation program, 2D classical animation in the world. Regarding the facilities, uh, we are on top of the technology. Uh, it's a very friendly environment, very honest, but at the same time very serious and productive. It's a very good environment for uh, learning how to draw, learning how to animate, learning how to design, and we cover all that and uh, I think uh, probably is the best animation program in the world. It's really like a big family, uh, you know, starting with first year and going right till after graduation. <laughs>